Hi guys. Well, let's see. Forgot what the date is. It's uh, last week of June. Anyway, let's get a garden update. We have uh, some extra tomato and pepper plants uh, that we had left over and nobody needed them so we just planted them and they seem to be doing just fine. What do you got down there at the end? I've got squash. I've got butternut squash, acorn squash, and yellow summer squash and some zucchini that's just coming up. So this here's kind of the the leftovers, huh? Yeah. We just ha had a place to put them, so we did, right? So we did. This is our sweet peppers back here. Uh, everything is kind of wilty right now because right now it's about 95 degrees and we're all a little wilted. Yeah, I'm a little wilted myself. So as soon but, uh, as... Uh, just uh, stepping right back The sun here. goes down. It'll perk right back up and look beautiful. Stepping right back here, we've got uh, a bit of, these are green beans and... Yes, these are uh, contender green beans. Back here in the peppers, we have sweet banana peppers. We have red bell peppers, Italian peppers, and peppers, peppers. Peppers, peppers. Now, what do you got that... Uh, cloth on that pepper for? Well, that was being attacked by something and I sprayed it and covered it. It's been um, Japanese beetles. Okay. You know, I've seen where people are really having some big troubles with Japanese beetles. And I'll tell you, I'll show you a little farther down, but I found two locusts in the garden here this week. And here is that potato bed that I have showed you before. But in the past, they've been standing up. And I tell you, there are a few of them still standing, but with the hard rain that we've had, I'm surprised that there's anything in there that's not laying flat on the ground. But we do hope to get a nice, uh, nice crop of potatoes out of there. And uh, just next to that is the... Uh, sweet potatoes. I'm, we are actually kind of a little bit proud of these sweet potatoes. We, we just got a sneaking hunch that there's something really good going on down under there and we don't know yet but uh, with all the rain we've had anything could happen. So right in front of that. Right here we have collard greens and cabbage. And collard greens and cabbage and we didn't get the corn this is our corn project uh, don't know what's gonna happen here for sure it, it looks awfully nice but we uh, planted it really closer than you're supposed to and mom said get a picture of the flowers so we're gonna do that and here's some more uh, tomato plants that really weren't planned, but uh, we just couldn't resist putting them in something and making them grow. And here's <laughs> these tomatoes. I've never, and I don't think my wife has either, ever seen tomatoes grow like this. And uh, yeah, gee, I don't know. Is, is it the raised bed? Is it the soil we used? What is it? But. Some of these tomatoes are as tall as I am, and uh, they're looking good. Looking really good. Okay. Okay, now to the right here, we have our uh, rattlesnake pole beans. These are rattlesnake pole beans, and we're uh, 
and they're climbing up there really well. We haven't had rattlesnake pole beans before, so this is a first for us. And I'm going to turn right around here so don't get dizzy. And this is the back side of the, the tomatoes. And some more flowers. We got to have, we got to be fr bee friendly. Got to be bee friendly, yeah. So, uh, we got a few cucumbers right here at the end of the rattlesnake pole beans. And behind that, we have uh, jalapeno peppers. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a cayenne pepper here. So, uh, onions. And okra. And I've heard of okra getting uh, six, seven feet tall. I've never seen any of that tall around here, but uh, hey, I'm all for it. Now we're, we're getting over to the far east end of the garden, and uh, I know that we have swishard. And carrots. And we've been eating off the swishard, and... Uh, we have cucumbers and a cherry tomato at the end. Now don't forget guys, we we're, still... we're kind of up north, so uh, we're a little later getting some of this stuff out than yes. those deep south people. So what we got here, Mom? We've got uh, kale at the end, an Italian kale, and we've got kale in the middle, and down here at the end we have cauliflower. Yeah, she plants different... Uh, varieties of things and I don't know one from another here I've got cucumbers and here I've got some leek started which I have to put out probably in the morning more potatoes more potatoes more potatoes I, we've got another patch of potatoes over there and uh, probably twice as big as this one So we should have potatoes for three or four families And we've got some uh, celery nestled in uh, the bottom of the cucumbers here And that's pretty much it guys so this was just a quick Oh a garden update for uh what is it? The 29th, I think. The end of June. And where does the time go? Thanks for watching, guys. Come back. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.